Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is the second part of the leases video. So in this video we are going to see whenever we have selected some items in the second list in game selected by clicking in an icon, delete icon, we are going to remove that specific row. As well, we are going to a mark is selected as false in the first list. So let's get started. So let's go back to uh, my create section in here and let's simply add a new column at my right. This will contain uh, my uh, delete icon. So let's call it here delete. And in here, um, okay, so uh, this will not be a control. So let's change to change to image and icon source standard icon and uh, delete item perfect. Uh, now let's uh, submit. Okay, good. And um, as well, let's create an action in here. Create an action set and. Um, I'm going to create an action by click by clicking my icon. First, I'm going to do my regular post value. Then what I'm going to do is by uh, hitting on click, I am going to run a new data transform. So this new data transform is going to be called uh, set. Uh, no, uh, delete games. Okay, so let's create it, create and open, and now let's uh, let's start. So what uh, I want is delete each row based on the um, if this is true or false. So first of all, uh, what I am going to do is uh, coming back to my set selected games here where i am building my game selected list this is my second list i have to add a new uh, i mean this i i have to know when uh which row i am deleting so what i'm going to use is uh same property is selected but i am not setting as true or false i'm simply setting as not on my second list okay let's click on save and as soon as i'm coming in here i am going to set that is selected so basically the row that i am selected i am going to set that row as false okay let's create uh, another step okay let me save this uh, okay cannot have empty value i have to use a loop in this step so let's use for each page now and what i am going to look is nothing but my gains selected but i need to set first uh as well be way work page in pages and classes so let me do that here quick okay so now uh in my py work page gains selected uh by this condition okay is selected okay let's set is selected equals to true it will be the same but it has more sense that uh is selected is equals to true because i am selecting selecting that row so uh when so i'm adding here a when condition when is selected it's equals to true then what i am going to do here is removing that specific row so let's use here remove and i am going to use that uh, row so i am going to use this list uh people page game selected current and save 
this will remove the um, current uh, row in my loop but this loop will only take one because it's going to take only when it's selected this row so let's test uh, this so let me go new games okay so select some games in here oh sorry i haven't uh saved this yet so let me say okay here as well we need a new action set to refresh uh the section because else we won't see it on the screen so refresh current section perfect submit save okay good let's see how it looks so now let's create a new case okay let's see if i delete the first one perfect it's working so the sec the the one that i am selecting it should uh, be deleted okay uh this is happening okay when i select a new one this is happening because it's running again uh my data transform is checking what uh not in this data transform but in my previous uh, one on the checkbox is checking what is true and is building the new list based on what is true so that's why i got again all everything here so if i remove the second row perfect silent hill let's remove perfect uh if i uh, add a new one uh, of course i'm going to get previews as well so for solving this what i have to do is if i remove this second row call of duty i should also uh set this as false i should set is selected on my first list as false then i should be okay so let's do that so coming back here to my uh, data transform i'm going to create another loop but this time this loop will be for my first list so this will be a py web page that uh, games list uh, sorry list of games is the name of my list yes list of games and uh, okay before removing this row uh, i have to what i have to do is i have to uh, s store uh, my value in a parameter so i need to store my name value of this row in a parameter so i'm going to take my name value and this is because all names are different if you have a scenario where names can be the same then you will have to use a key you cannot use by name because it can be same so you you'll have to use a key in this case because names are different so i'm going to use the name if names were similar or a uh, same name i can use a key id but in this case i'm going to use name and i'm going to save that name into a parameter so param that name perfect now i'm going to add here a condition so let's add here a when condition so whenever my parameter it's equal to name but this name is my name on list of games that's why i'm using uh, uh, this as a uh, source so when name in list of games on my first list is equal to my name on my second list so in this example uh, if i delete counter strike I, i'm coming here into a loop and it finds the same name in counter strike then i have to set is selected as false so i'm going to do that so then is selected it will be equals to false and save and uh, by this it should work let's test it so let me run a new case okay so select 
let's select a couple so i'm going to delete silent hill okay it's not working let's see what's going on um, my refresh it yes uh, okay here sessions refresh section okay let me check what's happening okay so uh, what happened is like here in action in refresh this section i have to select this the same disable submit on refresh uh, because uh, else uh, I can see the data on the clipboard uh, but um, I, I need to refresh this from the clipboard so I need to select this disable submit on refresh by this I should be okay let's click on save uh, it was not working so let's test it now okay let me select some here okay let's now it's a, a, if i delete f1 now it's gone let's delete call of duty now it's gone from here and if i add a new one in here now i am not getting the full i i mean the previous records that i delete already so this will be everything i hope this uh, this is a specific scenario i hope this works to you and um you can leave any comment uh, on the description if you uh, didn't understand or if it's not if it is not working for you okay bye bye